The first thing to understand about Cairo is two important concepts, surface and context. To better understand this, we can make an analogy with a canvas, that is, the material where the paint is going to be applied in a painting. To create a surface, we can use the class image surface. This class takes as arguments the format, width and height of the surface in pixels. There are five types of formats, but the only one we are interested in is the ARGB32 format. It allows us to create images with 32-bit pixels. That is, each image is defined by the RGB colors along with the opacity. We could also use the RGB24 format, with the only difference being that the opacity values are maximum. The context would be the figures that we create and that we can paint. The steps to be able to draw are the following. 1. Position the brush where you are going to start drawing. Almost all the figures in Picaro have arguments where you can specify the starting position. 2. Draw the figure you have in mind. 3. Specify the colors and opacity of both the fill and the thickness. 4. Repeat the steps, but with another figure. The last step is to save the file. Let's start looking at some examples. Clone this repository, install the dependencies, and open the imports file. This code is very similar to the one we saw at the beginning of the course, but now we are going to explain it in more detail. In this file, we are going to define all the external libraries that we are going to need. The width is 1920 pixels with a height of 1080 pixels. We will explain this in the next file. And in this function, we save the images. In case you use the preview flag, then it will automatically open the image with your default image viewer. Let's move on to the first file of the tutorial. First, we import what we defined in the imports file. Here is the definition of the surface and the context. These are the arguments that we are sending to create the surface, which we defined in the imports file. This surface is going to have transparency, so it will be a PNG file. Here we are creating a square. In Picaro, every time we are going to paint something on screen, just like an artist, we first have to decide the colors and the type of brush we are going to use. So, this way we are filling the green square, and then we draw the blue outline. Keep in mind that the order in which the actions are executed is important. If we reverse the order, we will get a different result. Another point to keep in mind is the difference between fill, stroke, fill preserve and stroke preserve. If we use fill, then the method will erase the path. We see that, if we try to draw the outline after painting the fill nothing will happen. The same will happen if we use stroke, any attempt to repaint the object will be ignored. So, it is only recommended to use fill or stroke when we finish painting a figure. To draw lines is very simple, first we move the brush to the starting point and then we execute the line to method to paint the line. In the third file, there is an example of how to draw an arc, we already saw it in the first video of the series, but it is worth remembering it. Although it is possible to draw using the coordinate system that we have shown, in general, it is easier if we use relative units. For this purpose, we use the scale method, which allows us to change the size of the coordinate system. Let's look at the following example. 
Here we are drawing a rectangle that measures half the width and height. Then we double the size of the coordinate system and recreate the same rectangle. We see that, although we are using the same code, the rectangle is twice as large. In addition to this, Cairo allows us to save a coordinate system so that it can be restored later. We can draw the first rectangle using the original coordinate system. We then save the coordinates and proceed to draw the second rectangle. Restore the coordinate system and draw the rectangle from the beginning. Indeed, the coordinate system is the same again. Using the scale method, we can normalize the size of the coordinate system. This way we can draw using percentages instead of the image size. The only problem with doing this is that the scale method also changes the size of the thickness. So the horizontal thickness is going to be different than the vertical thickness. We will continue in the next video. As a special offer, I remind you that you can buy my two professional Manum courses for only $50, that is, the basic and intermediate course. The basic course costs $30 and the intermediate course costs $40, but if you buy the bundle, you can get both courses together for only $50. In case you have already purchased the basic course and want to buy the intermediate course, you can use the coupon you see on the screen to get $10 off only the intermediate course. These offers will be valid until June of this year.